to the channel. Um, today I have yet another Honest Trailers video to react to. Uh, it's Avatar The Way of Water, the sequel to the... What, what, what was it? Was it 2000? I, I know it was early 2000s, I think 2009? Uh, it's it's been a long time. I don't feel like looking up when the first Avatar movie came out, but it's been a while since the first one. I think like a decade or, a decade or so since the first movie released, and then you know they just decide to put out a whole sequel, a whole decade or so later, which is crazy. And what's even crazier is that like it's opening week and it made it made that cheddar. I think it was um, 2.8 billion dollars, I believe, at the box office. I believe. Don't don't hold me to that. My information's kind of falsy, but um, yeah. Uh, this is a sequel to the first Avatar movie with the blue people, and I thought I'd check out the honest trailers. I did see the movie. It was pretty cool. Um. Three hours long. Was not expecting it to be three hours long, and it was very good. the 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 CGI was very, very great compared to like um, if I had to compare it to anything like you know, Marvel DC. Obviously, I know the CGI for those franchises haven't been the best lately, but Avatar was overall the CGI was phenomenal. The story was pretty, not too shabby, and it was pretty good. So, without further ado, let's just hop right into this Honest Trailers, uh, reaction. <laughs> From Disney film subbrand, Six of Seven, comes a movie so expensive, it had to be the fourth biggest hit of all time to make any money. But when it comes to sequels, never bet against James Mother F Cameron, That's... king of the world, baby. Oh yeah, Avatar: The Way of Water. I never realized how many movies James done. He's done, what was it like, Terminator? When it comes to sequels, never bet against James. Mother, f***ing Cameron. I, yeah, I didn't know he did Terminator and um, the Alien movies or. Some of the alien moves, I don't know if he directed all of them, but it's pretty cool. King of the world, baby. Avatar, the way of water. Remember Avatar 1? Kinda sort right. Of. <laughs> Something about blue elves having ponytail sex with a flying dog? Well, it's back. And okay. this time, they do it with a fish horse. Okay. Join up with full-time datatar Jake Sully, a man who puts the Marine in Aquamarine. You disobey direct orders. Or dismissed. And wife Natiri, just kind of crying in the background this time around. <gasps> They'll move the family to Space Florida, a place oh full of racial tension. Space Florida? Even though Florida. the water tribe is like one crayon over. But these soggy locals have their own kinds of nature magic that let them... It's funny because I, I I live in Florida. Heal the sick, commune with animals, and somehow manage to keep their dicks and bloobs from showing at all times. Amakatea. It means double-sided tape. Watch this blue man's troop start their lives over in an obligatory underwater level. And even though some of the kids are getting feels for teals, it turns yes, out the Oceanabi kind of salty. Their arms are thin. The tails oh. are weak. Still, the Sully clan is here to do two things. Learn about the gentle customs of the sea people and get kidnapped. And they're all out of sea customs. <laughs> Don't move. Where's Spider? They took him. He had our children. He had them under his knife. Drop it. <laughs> Don't hurt them. They do get Stop captured me. a lot Once in this back, movie. You come out alone. <laughs> I got your daughters. Same deal as before. Oh you know, for a guy God. who keeps saying my family is my fortress, maybe Jake should, I don't know, hire a sitter? I can't believe I'm tying up again. With Earth's resources oh tapped out, James Cameron must invent a whole new culture for white actors to appropriate. With Kate Winslet just how Cameron likes her. 
wet. And Sigourney Weaver, who's either chilling like an unopened jar of pickled eggs or playing her teenage self, Kiri, the only one higher than you when you watch this. She's just looking at the sand. <laughs> huh? Tagging along is Spider, a tiny Tarzan who's lucky he was abandoned on Pandora, because back on Earth, he would just be Ross Trent. <laughs> Together, Spider and Kiri oh must face their gosh. daddy issues. His dad is a homicidal maniac. Her dad is probably an ancient tree goddess. Either way, neither one is paying child support. And don't forget, Jake's... Wait a minute, you said... He... I'm... Rebellious son, Loak, an outcast outcast, who bonds with the whale equivalent of a fedora kid. He's outcast. And the responsible son, Nateum. Or wait, was Loak the good son? Which one is which again? Dad, just breathe. Can't tell him. No, Dad, it's Lord. And it doesn't help that they all talk like prank YouTubers from 2013. Got this, bro. 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 Dude. Bro. 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 Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Bro, come on. It's okay, bro. I got you. That I got you, bro. Cuz. Bro. <laughs> that was insane, cuz. Bro, I'm good. Go. Oh, sick. Somehow, Quaritch has returned. Yes. And like any other Disney character Somehow. who gets older dies, he's been replaced by a CG version of himself. Ridiculous. Now, he's got a strike team of the bluest meanies money can buy, and the ability to instantly find whatever he's looking for on an entire planet. You're his, aren't you? That's hundreds of islands, lots of villages. This is our guy. I'll be damned. Sell his kids. With the help of this whale goo enthusiast and the most immoral marine biologist since George Costanza, he'll search for two full hours of screen time before finally finding what he was looking for. An excuse for James Cameron to pop a sub. And really. Just incredible restraint to wait that long before popping a sub. But after that, dude just can't help himself. No. Sub teams, two minutes, let's get in there. So if you only see one sci-fi sequel about saving space whales, see this one. But isn't it weird that there's two of them? Mm -hmm. In an experience that is awe-inspiring in a 3D IMAX theater, looks like a screensaver on your TV at home, and absolute crap here on YouTube, <laughs> that for all its flaws kept movie theaters in business for just a little bit longer, yeah, and kept audiences from having to live in their actual reality for three precious hours. <sighs> You're right, James. You were more right than you ever could have known. That, that was unnecessary. Starring. Sally is a family guy. I see you less and less these days. In the Navi. Sigourney Tweener. The wrong kid died. Duh. The, he's not wrong. <laughs> he, he's Tater not wrong. Duke. The sea was angry that day, my friends. Chief Reef. Kate Inlet. Chief Reef. What we do in the shallows. Okay. Are you pulling my tail? Oh. The tails. Oh. This uh, little baby tail. Don't touch me. Uh, oh, my tail. Talking out the side of the neck. Let's go. Two minutes, people. Let's go. Gunships inbound. Eagle Eye, send your traffic. I got eyes on some guys. Yeah, I hear you. Iron sky, blue on actual. I mean, devil dogs, do you hear me? Yeah, Lorak. Killer ships inbound. Who's with you? Frager. You read? Check your fire. I'm coming out. Sonic flashbacks. Sonic? <laughs> and. <laughs> Go, fish! Really? Go fish. Ah, oh, thank goodness this little guy's here to tell the massive planetary crust scooping bulldozer where to go. Right over there. Yep, that away. Hey, you guys. Jane, get me off. The oh man. Okay, that was a good trailer reaction for honest trailer video in general. Um, yeah, that was me reacting to honest trailers. Avatar: The Way of Water. Let me know what you guys thought of the movie. And, um, I guess I'll see you in the next video I do, which will most likely be, well, I'm not going to tell you the next video, but, uh, it will be another Honest Trailers, so, goodbye.